It's ready for an adventure that's veggie-tastic and full with flavor. Today, we're diving into the world of vegan bakso, an Indonesian meatball dish with a history as rich as its plant-based goodness. But first, let's talk about the irony here. Bakso, which literally means ground meat in Bahasa, Indonesia, is now going meatless. Whoa! So, what makes up this bowl of vegan bakso? The core trio remains the same. A hearty broth, flavoursome noodles and meatless meatballs. Don't forget, these meatballs, whilst lacking in traditional meat, must maintain the springy texture that defines bakso. Well, let's get down to the real deal. I'm diving in for a taste of this legendary dish. Mmm! Wow, so much flavour. I can taste coriander, I can taste nutmeg, maybe a little cinnamon even in there. Not too strong, but it's there. Maybe some ginger. Wow. Okay, let's have some broth with some of the steamed tofu. Mmm. This tastes so good. The meatless meatballs are amazing. They are springy and packed with flavour, soaking up the broth and all the spices and releasing them into my mouth like a party of joy. I'm so happy right now. Wow! Now it's time for me to add one of my favourite ingredients, chilli sauce, or as it's known in Indonesia, sambal. I love sambal, so let's get some in this delicious bowl of bakso. Now let's see how this bakso tastes vegan style, but with some sambal added. Woo! <laughs> that gives it a kick, definitely. The flavours are immense. That was just enough sambal chilli sauce. Not overpowering, but warm enough to do me some good. The noodles texture is cooked perfectly. The steamed tofu with the green vegetables, there's that softness with the crunch of the vegetables, the spice, the cinnamon, the ginger, really flavoursome. Mmm, this is so good. I'm loving every mouthful. Like many other dishes in Indonesia, bakso grew out of Asian and European influences. The Chinese bought noodles and the term bakso to Indonesia, whilst the Dutch bought beef and European condiments. However, bakso remains distinctly Indonesian, characterised by its use of local ingredients and spices. It's also a salty dish, but not overpowering just that right amount to draw all the flavours together. No wonder bakso is such a popular dish in Indonesia. <laughs> I'm getting it all over my face. <laughs> but I don't mind, I'm so happy. Yummy, yummy? yummy. Okay, here's another mouthful. Mm. It's so good. Every mouthful, you know, Sometimes you have a little bit more of the ginger come through. Sometimes the chilli spice takes over. Plenty of garlic in there. It's not overpowering with the salt, but it's a salty dish. I really like it. Maybe it's a little soy sauce. Okay, we're getting down to just the broth now. A few little bits of tofu left in here. Let's give it a try. Mm. Man. This vegan bakso tastes amazing. There are so many flavours. None of them are overpowering. All of them blend together perfectly. The only irony with this dish is that it's absolutely delicious. I can highly recommend vegan bakso. How about you? I truly believe that vegan bakso is better than meat bakso. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below this video. So, whether you're a seasoned vegan or just craving a meatless adventure, don't forget to give Vegan Baxo a try. I really recommend it. I bought this from the Burgreens restaurant in BSD Tangerang, Indonesia.